Hi guys, so I'm gonna go just straight to the point, but first of all, I just hope you guys are doing great and doing well and it's summertime, so I hope you are enjoying the sun and enjoying the nice weather, at least here in Sweden. <laughs> Finally, I am preparing myself for freaking Stockholm Smart on. That's what this video is gonna be about. I'm gonna be freaking filming my first ever marathon. I picked up my number already and I have all the gears and all the stuff that I need and I've been fueling myself with, you know, carbs and, and nice, nice food, you know, to get the energy. And yeah, I'm super, super happy and super excited. And there's so many people. We're like over 22,000 people running and it's, it's crazy. I even have some colleagues at work that are going to be running. So it's also nice, you know, to have a chat about it and, you know, share the nervousness and this kind of stuff, which is very nice. On my way, guys, to the freaking pasta party. Som jobbat med på det sättet så att det ska bli en maximal smakhet och mat och glädje. Men pasta är inte allt ni har. Nej, pasta har ju varit med oss i många år. Here are all my essentials when it comes to energy drinks and um, gels for while I'm running. So these two are electrolytes that I'm gonna take today and, and tomorrow. Um, this is a cream, 50% uh, SPF because it's gonna be very hot and I need to protect my face. So that's important. Then I have the ice power cream that is like very cold effect for especially for my knee because I've been re I've been um, injured recently. So this is my number. This is my mantra: calm, strong, focused. Just to remind myself that I need to stay calm, stay strong, and stay focused because it's very you know it's very easy to get hyped and to get like very super motivated and over motivated with all the crowd and all the excitement and that is like distracting you have to keep focusing you have to like st start slow because the distance is very long so i need to remember that and not to get distracted and these are gels like that contain water glucose fructose and like you know caffeine for energy i will take this one maybe 30 minutes before the race starts depending if I get caffeine before, because I usually get a knocko. So it might be a, maybe not maybe not the most um, useful thing, but I will see. And then during the, the race, I will take one, uh, one of those three uh, during different uh, kilometer, and depending how I feel. rice day and I already prepared my breakfast so I had the rice toast or however you, you call it and some egg, spinach, cutlass caviar and so I have two and then oats with some honey and this is electrolyte and no coal. Hi guys so I am walking towards the stadium towards the start line it's 11, past 11 a.m. and I started 12, 10. So yeah, I feel very excited, but also a little bit nervous. But yeah, let's see. So, less than two minutes to the start. Welcome forward. This is Alida Stokomato.
finishing the finish line. So then. So, so then. So tired legs. Sunday, June 2nd um, and I'm going through post Stockholm Marathon fever. Here I am with my medal. I am so so happy I finished the, the entire marathon 42 kilometers run um, in this hot conditions that we had yesterday. It was 26 degrees warm and uh, it was tough, especially the second half of the marathon. The first one was, you know, easy pace, you know, feeling good, wind here and there, nice crowd, you know, like warming up your body, like 5-10 kilometers, 15 was nice, then from 15 to 25 the things started to, you know, increase and uh, I was like mentally understanding, okay, this thing is starting here, like the actual marathon, but then the difficult part was, um, I would say, um, maybe from 25 to, to 30, it started to feel already, okay, this is getting heavy, and from 35 to 13, I was like, living hell um, because my legs felt heavy. I didn't have any particular pain, like um, a knee pain or something, because I had an injury before, like a month and a half ago or two months ago. Um, I didn't have that, but I felt my legs tired. Um, and also it was very hot and uh, but the thing is, I did take every single opportunity I could to drink water um, were the water stations and um, and also energy drink and then snacks such as apples, banana, you know, it kept me um, on track and helped me to get like energy and have energy and I also had gels uh, that were really necessary and gave me a lot of power as well. Gels are so good, like so, so good. I was like really pushing, pushing through and uh, thinking about my quotes, my words that I had for myself, calm, strong, focused. And I was repeating it to myself, you know, stay calm, breathe and keep it calm, you know, slow pace because it was difficult. It was really difficult to sprint or to speed up. Um, especially the second half, that's why it felt so difficult. Overall, it was such a great experience, you guys. Like, all the people, all the crowd, all the DJs, all the, the people motivating us, all of the people who were running, and the friends, the colleagues, you know, there. It was so nice, you know, when you're tired or you're like mentally, you know, fighting to not give up and, and so on, you're motivating yourself. And suddenly you see someone that you know and recognize people and it's like, <gasps> you know, a spike up, Oof, it almost made me cry, like it was so, so nice, especially when you're like fighting to not give up, as I said, like to, to continue to mentally push yourself because physically you're not. Also, I've seen, you know, different ages. I see, I've seen like a, a nice couple of, oh my goodness, this is so ridiculous, a nice couple, like all the older people, like maybe 80 or something or 70 something I, I cannot tell but it was a couple and they were they were wearing a green t-shirt and they were attached to each other by, by um, some kind of cord or some some chain you know so they don't lose each other and they had this t-shirt that said <laughs> it said walking dead it was so funny when I saw it I really wanted to take a picture but I was so focused and like so you know don't move just just continue don't don't record anything because like you know you have to focus on and but it was so funny you know um this attitude it was so amazing i i was laughing and running i was like okay i cannot 
Um, I cannot do both. I either run or laugh or just die a sign, you know. But it's very nice and very funny. It's just... It's just... Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's just really... Um, really really nice experience it's 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 um it's like a party a big party for everyone and um i also had this feeling the first part of the marathon i had this feeling that i need to achieve the goal my personal goal of of running this marathon under four hours but during the second part i already realized i will not do it like i will not get under four because it's tough it's tough and i was like I was like, uh, changed my chip and I was like, I need to just get to the finish line. <laughs> I just need to get to the finish line, that's all. Like, I'm so done here. <laughs> like, it, it's, you know, the goal shifted to, to just do it, you know, just keep pushing to the finish line. And that was the most important thing there, just to survive this pain and heat. I'm so, so happy. I know that, um, it motivates me, you know, to train more, to run more, to work on my timing, to work on my speed, to maybe, you know, tweak different things. I learned so much from this and how important it is to, to, um, to eat well, to sleep well, um, to drink a lot, drink a lot, electrolytes before, like a week before the race, like, and uh, take advantage of each water station every single especially if it's hot outside like i took absolutely every single water station sometimes i would you know um have energy drink only sometimes you know because energy drink is sweet and you get tired of that taste you want some water as well so i would switch you know and especially if i would get a gel gel is also very very sweet so I would take a gel, let it sink, and then the next station I would get a lot of water, like a lot of water. And then I would just, just you know, have water all over my body, like my hair, my head, because I felt heat on my head, I remember. And I remember this taste of blood in my mouth, like I felt at some point, one of the things, well, one of the situations when I had, like when I thought I wouldn't give up, it's because I felt this taste of blood, like high pressure or something. I, I felt my head very like heavy and very warm. And um, I just turned around for some reason and I got so dizzy. I was like so dizzy, so like, okay, I'm gonna pass out, pass out. And I was like, breathe, breathe, keep doing, keep doing, like, you know, slowly. <laughs> and then I would just continue and then then the finish line guys i cried i i was i reached out the stadium stockholm stadium and i felt like a freaking alley like <laughs> because you know it's all red and around it and you just like you feel so good i felt so much goosebumps and so much confidence and so much i don't know like a wave of of like pff, achievement it was so it's oh, i don't know it's very difficult to explain then <laughs> Mm. It, I I cried when I crossed the finish line. I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna cry right now. It was so so nice. So yeah, I have my first marathon check. I think I will, I'm gonna be, you know, having this post marathon fever for a week or something. I'm just so proud, of you guys. It's so, so nice. It's so life-changing. It's so nice to do tough things and, and achieve and see where where is your limit, you know? Where, how capable you are, you know? Because everyone can do it, like everyone can do it. It's just, um, you just need to train and, and have a goal. And, uh, you know, do tough stuff. It makes you feel confident and gives you a lot of confidence. Like, if you can do this and that and, and different kind of stuff, you can do anything in your life, in all aspects of your life. So, that's that's like that. This the thing, you know. It's not only just just the fact of like running, run, just running for like what's the goal. My goal is is not only getting good at running. I like running. I used to hate. 
but it's just doing this insane things you know tough things so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope it gives you some pinch of motivation as well to do things or you know push you as well to do different things um and if you are like interested in starting running or something just start slow i did start in october 2023 where i remember i couldn't run three kilometers at the gym <laughs> but i pushed three five seven and then increase 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 and then you realize that you can do more and you can do more and then you do longer this and longer 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 until you you can do 10k 18 half marrow and then trying for a marathon let me know if any of you guys who are watching here did run a marathon stockholm's marathon this year or any marathon or half marathon or just just tell me your experiences it would be nice for me to read what you're up to so yeah thank you guys for watching and i see you soon bye yeah, no!